Hi boys and girls, I'm glad you're tuning in for today's lesson. Today's lesson is Letter Sound relationship, Relationships, Lesson 96, Diagraph OE. These are the Tennessee State Standards. And here's today's objective. I can learn about Diagraph OE. You'll need some materials for today, a dry erase board and markers, or paper and pencil, just some materials that you can write some words and sentences with. Let's begin by reviewing our high frequency sight words that we've just learned. This is the word, another. Read this word, before, large, learn, move, and now we're going to play a review matching game where we'll match the words to the pictures. These words are very similar. I see a lot of the same letters. Most of the words, well, all of the words have ST to start. And I see the letter R in all of the words, and several of the words have the letter A. We'll have to read these words carefully to match them correctly. Let's begin right here. What word do you think this is? I bet you're right, star. You see the ST and you see the AR making the R sound. Good reading. What about this word? It looks a lot like star. In fact, it is the same word as star except for there's a T at the end of this word. So, let's say, let's read this word, star t. What did you think? You're right, it's the word start. Okay, let's read this word. What do you think it is? You're correct, stir. I-R makes the er sound. And then we have one final word la uh, left, so we know it's gonna be strap, but let's check it. Strap, that's right, strap. Now we have a few review sentences. I see a sight word, what we just learned. It's the word learn, but it has ed at the end. How do we pronounce that word? Learned, good job. Let's read the sentence together. We learned about stars. Let's read this sentence. I see a contraction right here. How do you pronounce that word? I'd. I'd like a new blue shirt. Read it one more time through with me. I'd like a new blue shirt. Today's principle. A digraph is two letters that work together to make one sound. If it's a vowel digraph, the two letters will make a vowel sound. So we're going to review some of the vowel digraphs we've learned, and then we'll learn about a new vowel digraph. Let's say the name of the digraph, the name of the picture, and the sound of the digraph to review these vowel digraphs. Are you ready? A-I, rain, A. A-Y, ray, A. O-A, boat, O. E-E, sheep, E. E A steak A E A bread E eh. U I fruit U I E pie I I E field E Now we're to our new digraph our new vowel digraph is digraph O-E. Digraph O-E makes the long O sound, O. It follows the rule of if two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. T 
Toe is a key word to help you remember the sound of digraph O-E. Toe is spelled T-O-E. You hear the O sound in the word toe? Yes, I do too. Now we're going to read some words with digraph O-E. Here we have the word doe. You know that a doe is the female deer. This is the word foe. And the picture says friend or foe. A foe can be like an enemy. This is the word woe. Woe means strife or hard times. This is the word hoe. A hoe is a garden tool. You may have seen one of these or used it to dig in the dirt. And this is the word tip-toe. And so you can see a picture of someone walking on their tiptoes. Now I need you to get out your paper and pencil or whatever writing materials you have. And I am going to give you a sentence and you are gonna write it down and then check your work. So let's begin with our first sentence. Write the sentence, will the doe go home? Let me read it again. Will the doe go home? And I'm going to count the words in that sentence. Will the doe go home? That's five words. Why don't you pause the video and write the sentence? Then when you're ready, start the video up again and check your work. Did you get it? Let's take a look. Will the doe go home? There's some tricky words in this sentence. First of all, we have the word doe. So we had to remember that doe uses the digraph we just learned, O-E. And also the word home has our sneaky E, our silent E that we don't hear. So home is spelled H-O-M-E. Will is a little bit tricky. We've been practicing it for a long time, but it does have two L's. And a couple other things for you to check. Did you start your sentence with a capital W? Did you end your sentence with a question mark? Good job. Let's do another sentence. This sentence is, Joe broke a bone in his toe. Goodness, that's a lot of words. Let me say the sentence a couple more times. Joe broke a bone in his toe. Why don't you say it with me? Joe broke a bone in his toe. Okay, pause the video and write that sentence down. Then we'll, when you're ready, start the video again and we can check your work. All right, let's check your work. Joe broke a bone in his toe. Let's check for several things that are kind of hard to remember. Did you start with a capital J? For two reasons. It's the beginning of the sentence and if it's someone's name we have to start with a capital letter. Um, I use J-O-E to spell Joe. Some people do spell Joe, J-O. That's okay, but since we worked on digraph O-E today, I made sure to spell Joe with O-E. If you didn't, that's okay because people's names don't always follow the rules. Then I want you to check the word toe because it's got O-E in it. And that's what we're working on today. Then a couple more tricky things. We have two words with sneaky E. So the word broke, B-R-O-K-E. You don't hear the E. And it's got a blend at the beginning. So that was a difficult word. How about the word bone? Did you get it right? 
B-O-N-E with a sneaky E on the end. Let's do one more sentence today. This one's a little shorter. It's just four words. He is a foe. He is a foe. Pause the video and write that sentence and then start it again to check your work. There we go. Did you write, he is a foe? Starting with a capital H, ending with a period, and spelling foe, F-O-E. Well, great job. What did you learn today? Digraph O-E makes the sound O. And toe is spelled T-O-E. Good job. Now let's finish our phonics lesson with a poem. Well, this looks silly. A pig in a tree. I think that's a clue we're going to have a silly poem today. I believe you can read most of these words with me. Listen the first time through and then we'll read it again and you can read it with me. What do you see? What do you see? A pig in a tree. Where's your cat? Under my hat. How do you know? He licked my toe. Yeah, definitely a silly poem. Why don't you read it with me? What do you see? What do you see? A pig in a tree. Where's your cat? Under my hat. How do you know? He licked my toe. Can you find the word toe? Point to it. Good job. And remember, we learned about digraph OE today, and toe is our key word. How about one more word for you to find? Can you find the word tree? I bet you're quick, right there. T R E E. We see digraph E-E -E making the E sound. Tree. I hear the E sound. Boys and girls, thank you for joining us in today's phonics lesson. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, and we'll see you again next time.